you join me outside of my new double garage. Yes, it's finally happened. I've moved. I've got a nice big double garage with small house attached. So in this series, we're going to be transforming this garage into the ultimate showroom, workshop, sort of studio space as well for me to record all of my videos in. I'm really, really excited about this. But first of all, let's open the shutters and take you for a quick tour. So here is the garage, it's plenty big enough. It's five meters by six meters, roller door. And what is rather sexy already is it's a, an electric roller door as well. I was gonna board the, the loft area, but there's so many uh, beams, it's pointless. You know, there, there's actually no room to get anything up there, what with all the struts. So I'm going to uh, plasterboard insulation at the top plasterboard the uh, the walls um, but before i can do anything i've got to try and make a bit of room in here because you know i can't work in here <laughs> i've got all sorts in here cleaning stuff bags pasting table that table's got to go indoors it's got to go to the tip i think i've had to buy a fridge freezer because uh, the house isn't big enough for the fridge or freezer. But yeah, all sorts of absolute junk in here. All sorts of absolute junk. No, no, we're not there yet, mate, but we're still traveling. We're still traveling, mate. As soon as we're there, I'll let you know and I'll, and I'll get you out. We're, we're not there yet. All of this stuff here, apart from Avis, is, is hypermotard bits. <laughs> That's all hyper stuff. That's all hyper stuff there. And under here, under the uh, 70s duvet, we've got the frame. So all of that is hyper. <sighs> so a bit of sort out. So I'm after a bit of inspiration. So I've come down to South Coast Auto Detailing, my local detailer. And I know he's had this whole garage system has been sort of revamped over the last year or so he's been here. And I know he's had the floor tiles done. He's got some of the hexagonal lighting, which I'm quite interested in. So. Uh, Let's go and have a look, see if we can get some ideas. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. That's just, that's my bike, by the way. So these are vented mats, aren't they? Vented. Yeah, yeah garage style. Garage style vented mats. Um, probably not, look fantastic, look amazing. But I think in mine, I'm probably gonna go solid because you can imagine dropping screws and stuff through that could end up being a bit of a nightmare. That'd get, tired pretty quick I think because I was thinking also you know the hexagonal lights how much light it throws out quite a bit of light doesn't it yeah you'd be surprised and you've got the side lighting as well because they do these by sizes don't they is that a 15 I can't this is what a it 17 is, grid it's a 17 yeah. grid and I think the actual bars themselves I think they range between like 800 mil and 1100 mil oh do they so different something similar so you can have a slightly smaller hexagon as well right and I guess you can mount those directly on the ceiling, couldn't you? Yeah. 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 And then over here, we've got some uh, fancy cabinets as well. Craftworks. Can I have a pull of some drawers? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> These ones. No, the ones below it. Oh, they're not that one. <laughs> well, they just look nice. Oh, though. look at that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. LED lighting underneath. You said these are magnetised as well, yeah. so they're just fixed. You can move them where you That's want it. them. Yeah, because yeah. I want a bit of a sort of studio space as well. Yeah. But, you know, I want a bit of decent oh. lighting and stuff. Magnetised, pull them off, reposition. I want a bit of that. I really like the layout here. I love the hexagonal lights. I definitely want some of that. The mats as well, the, the tiles, the floor tiles. What a setup. Oh, I'd love something. Even half as nice as this, I'd be over the moon with it. Looking a little bit more presentable. Only a little bit more presentable. Oh. 
So that is a bit of tidying up done, looking a bit more usable in here now. I can actually move things around and start working on what I want to do with the walls. Going to get some, first of all, the electrics. I want to extend the electrics down. I want, you know, two points, two double sockets in each of these corners here and in every corner of the room. My plan is to do this work, as much of this work I can myself. And I'm no DOI expert, I'm known as Bodget Bennett. <laughs> you know, I'm definitely the man which is a cut twice, measure once type of guy. So uh, I may struggle with this, but I want to give it a go. There's, there's not an unlimited budget for this build. I mean, I'm sort of got about £4,000 to spend in here, which sounds like a lot of money, but I'm really looking for that proper workshop sort of finish. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not going to go very far, that 4000 um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of work myself where I can. If people want to help me, you know, if there's someone who lives in the Portsmouth area who's good at plastering after I got the boards up, then let me know, you know, if you want to be a bit featured in this video series. And if you've got any other ideas of stuff to do, things to buy, I want to get some sort of ramp. Some sort of ramp system would be fantastic. I've got a, quite a good idea for storage rather than going for really expensive um, cabinets. I may get some sort of cabinets in here, metal cabinets, but they're really, really expensive. So I've got a really good solution for a bit of neat looking storage using some sort of secondhand office furniture. Sounds a bit rubbish, but wait, wait until you've seen it. I think it'll look quite good. So I've got some ideas to keep costs down. I've got loads of plans. I've got big ambitions for this place. So uh, follow me along. So if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. This is going to be really rather awesome. In the next episode, I'm going to tackle, like I say, the electrics, the battening, the boarding, and then uh, plastering. And it will start to look a little bit better than just a concrete box. But I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you on episode two. Cheers, guys. I can't believe we're still not there. No, no, still not there yet, Mavis. As soon as we're there, I'll let you know, obviously.